All right, guys, it's me, Kai. How are you today, night, or evening? Whatever time it is for you. Uh, I'm pretty all right today. Uh, I have food here. So if you, if I get distracted halfway through this, it's because I'm also in the process of trying to eat food. Uh, but I kind of wanted to, to film this. So I have a list. Woo, look at the list of uh, LGBT YouTubers that I am um, currently obsessed with. Now, it's not every LGBT YouTuber that I've ever watched or enjoyed the content of, but it's just kind of like a, like a, oh my god, what's the word for it? Uh, I dropped my potato. Luckily, it was onto the plate. And, like, not on the floor or something. Um, like a, like a starter pack for, like, yeah, you know how they have those memes back in the day? Where it's like, a goth girlfriend, uh, starter pack, or shit like that? Yeah, this is like this for YouTube, except it's just queer YouTubers. To kind of start you out on your journeys there. Um, there's a lot of them out there, but I think I've got listed, let me count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and technically it's eleven because there's a two for one in the, in the, on the last one on my list. But, uh, this video idea came from, uh, me watching iNabber's video that I was, which is his newest video currently, is, uh, a video about Trisha Paytas and her uh, cycle of, uh, you know, not so good things. Um, but while I was watching it, I was like, you know, I did do LGBT artists, but I didn't do it enough credit, I didn't do it the justice that I should have. So, I'm gonna do one for YouTubers, except, like, actually put effort into it, because YouTube is kind of an obsession of mine. Really, uh, one of my major hyperfixations would be YouTube and YouTube channels and all that fun stuff. Um, so, I never, if you don't know, uh, he's a, he's a commentary YouTuber. He does a lot of commentary videos. Uh, he also has Twitch live streams of him doing the commentary stuff live, but I, I never am able to show up in his live streams when they're live. Um, he is a bisexual man. And I'm low-key been obsessed with his content for the last, like, two years now. Honestly, like, every time he uploads, right there, sign me up, bitch, right in that video. I might not comment every time, because I don't really know what to say. But I do comment beans. Every time he asks to comment beans, which is a lot. Also, comment beans. <laughs> in honor of Inabber. Uh, so, this is where I started going down to this video, but, you know, I was thinking of other trans, not trans, sorry, well, there are trans YouTubers on this list, but for context, I'm gonna play a brief second of an I Never video. wasn't his most recent one, I missed an upload! Big sad! Today... Today... We're talking about K-pop! K-pop is one of the most revolutionary genres of music in the world, and I'm playing like K-pop, K-pop, I'm Yep, that is Frasier, aka Einhaber. So that's, that's him. Uh, he's got a really interesting sense of humor, and I actually really fucking love his sense of humor. Really good guy. Now I've got to go watch this video later because I can't believe I fucking missed it. You fucking go me, right? Um. But yeah, that's that's the first guy on this list. Next is Ethan is online. Now. Ethan is online. He's a bisexual commentary dude. 
Uh, he's got a really, really dry sense of humor, but if, honestly, if you like my content, let's be real, my sense of humor isn't exactly, you know, fucking wet. I got a really dry sense of humor. It's like drier than the Sahara fucking desert type shit. Uh, but, you know, he's one of those people that's got like a monotone voice. Uh, he does a lot of, uh, he's on leftist YouTube. Like, he does a lot of, uh, uh, commentary videos about conservative people and their weird ass views. And does a lot of, uh, alpha male podcasts and shit. A lot of, uh, going against misogyny and all that shit, you know, like, people on the left like to do. Uh, here is a, a little clip. Now, I might be wrong, he might not be bisexual, and I might be mixing him up with another content creator, which I'm not entirely sure. But, uh, I don't think I am. So, here is, uh, a few seconds out of his, uh, out of his newest video. If you want to be an annoying actor, but, if you are going to be annoying like that's that, that's not him. Just make sure you're walking the walk. It's not the best place to be wearing a people versus fossil fuels insignia, all right? Okay. <laughs> Come on. The funniest thing about this guys like him. Tyler is that if you're half asleep and high and really stupid, maybe some of the snarky observations he makes might come across as clever or reasonable. But when you think about it for more than 10 seconds, it's clear that he cannot think critically at all. Like if you're anti-fossil fuel, I guess don't fly. Yeah. Yeah, so that's him. He's a uh, quite the intelligent man, from what I've gathered from his channel, and I happen to like people who can get something going up here in my brain, up in the brain area. Uh, I really love his shit, though, honestly. Uh, now on to somebody that I have recently discovered, like literally at the beginning of this year, and I fucking love her shit. I think it's her. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. Uh, but Ro Ramden, uh, trans commentary channel, puts a lot of effort into her videos. I mean, masterpieces. They're so beautiful, they're really well put together. There's always like a cool down section in the videos where like they kind of talk about it from an objective point of view and there's like a time to calm down. There's a really good mix between a uh, serious level and like actual comedy. It's really great. You should, I really suggest it. Um, let me go ahead and look up Rose channel. Because obviously this is what we're doing. Where I'm just going to go through and I am going to... Yep, yeah, she they. Okay. I had to make sure of that. Hello, welcome back to the dark room from a crime show that takes place in the 90s. I am a developing photo from the crime scene that shows the person the protagonist just left with is actually the murderer. Oh, I hope the sidekick that hasn't yet proved their worth to the force rescues them. Comedians, they were created 6,600 years ago on the island of Patmos. I think that was a perfect clip to get what type of videos Ro makes. She's just, oh, oh mwah. Chef's kiss. Love it. So here for it. Like, they just, oh. Little fuck me up. You know? Uh. Yeah, they're, they tend to be longer form content. So if that's not your thing, then, like, maybe avoid it. But really, it's it's totally worth it. It's a really good, uh, like, you know, YouTube channel. So. Now, this person. I am not a hundred percent sure if they are pan or not. I'm just pretty sure. I'm like 99% sure, but you know, there's always a chance. Uh, but fucking Chad Chad. Mwah! Chef's Kiss love Chad Chad so much. That Chad Chad videos have become like a serious hyper fixation of mine. Since I found her channel uh, like a year ago. At this point, I think, I want to say a year ago, might, it might have been like six months ago, might have been like, no, no, hold on, I can find exactly where it is, I know the video. It was 
Yeah, a year ago. Yep. And this is the video I first found. POV, you're drinking water. <laughs> Why are you here? You're drinking water. Did you get upset? Oh. Uh, but, uh, I really love Chad Chad's video. She's another commentary YouTuber. I don't know if you guys are sensing a theme here, but, uh, I definitely have a, a genre on YouTube that I prefer. <laughs> yeah, uh, honestly, she's done a lot. Of videos, I mean, I think she's only had her channel out for like a year now, I think. But, uh, just fucking amazing. Like, oh, god, fuck me up. Just like with Rose shit, just fuck me up, down, sideways, left, right, however the fuck. Okay, but like, here for it. Okay, here for it. Now, this one is, uh, uh, not a commentary channel. Uh, but I do love her shit. Uh, she does, like, book reviews and, uh, uh, Tumblr deep dives and, and, uh, a lot of shit like that, you know? Um, but, uh, let me see. I'm gonna try to find one video that'll be able to do it. Yeah, the history of just girly things. Hey girls. Strange Billies, Eon. Hi Classic Crew. Welcome back to my first video of 2013. Today we're talking about just girly things. An absolute fallen titan. So Strange Aeons, uh... I really love her shit too. She's a lesbian. I believe. Don't quote me on that. Uh, she makes a lot of really good videos. They're longer form for the most part, you know, but still chef's kiss, mm -hmm, beautiful. Uh, now we have Brennan Beckwith. Uh, now if you do go to uh, his slash their channel, uh, maybe don't send hate there because back in the day, Brennan, uh, they would receive like a lot of shit for uh, his uh, being non-binary trans masculine person and uh, now now they do a podcast funnily enough with one of the people who used to give them shit like that which was Storm Ryan who is another trans mask YouTuber that you guys should go watch although I don't think he's posted content in a, lo in a long time on his YouTube channel at this point um, let's go ahead and go to Brennan's channel I really like Brendan. They're they're really wholesome. Did an interview with Better Home and Gardens, and he talked about his sexuality for like one second for like a paragraph of this article. And a lot of people are talking about it, and I have some thoughts on it too. So I wanted to just throw my two cents on it, and I needed a quick video this week. Okay, anyway. so that's Brennan. A uh, lot a lot more of a quick, I guess, form content videos type thing. You know, they uh. Also, coincidentally, do a lot of commentary. Uh, so, oh. now this person love, love cops hate mo. Mwah. just oh god. I'm watching uh, their uh, their channel uh, has really helped me. Uh, get out of some really toxic uh, behaviors as a, as a baby trans person back in the day uh, and and their videos have also really helped me uh, really helped me uh, you know come to terms with who I am as a non-binary person um, and uh, here is is like a section out of their videos. They do like commentary. Hello, hello. Hello. Um, my name is Mo, and I thought today I would do a video talking about Harry Styles. Um, so first of all, I shall address the change of scenery. Um, I have moved back in with my parents. 
Okay, so that was it for Cops Hate Mo, mainly because I don't feel like uh, doing all of that. But uh, they they write they do a lot of queer things, you know. Um, and inadvertently really helped me discover myself, and I'm really grateful to uh, them slash him. I'm not sure if he uses both pronouns, so I've just been using them just in case, just to be on the safe side. I might be wrong on that too. But uh, Nick DeMario. Now, this guy. He, uh, he went to film school, I'm pretty sure he graduated from that, he's worked on a lot of shit. Uh, it's he they. Uh, he is a gay man, um, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, he writes, I mean, he does a lot of nostalgia content where he goes through a lot of old movies and shit, and he, like, sees how they fucked up and all of the problems with it, and I really like his, uh, his humor sense, too, so. Here, let's see, I'll play one of his most recent videos. Christian romance movies. Princess Cut is a religious romance film about one woman's journey to get the wedding ring she's been dreaming of, all while the conflicting pressures of her shame-based upbringing sent her spiraling into an existential... Yeah, but that's him. Uh, really, I've learned a lot about how movies are made from his channel, and I find that really interesting. Now keep in mind, all these will be in the description if you want to go to check them out. Um, you know, just go check them out, right? I'm not finished yet. There's a couple more on the list. Really padding out this video by doing the whole, uh, showing their channel briefly. Sam Collins. Oh, I love his channel so much. Um, he's a trans man, he's an older trans man, oddly enough, which is kind of kind of crazy to see. I don't know why my YouTube is being dumb now. Because, you know, he's, I believe, over the age of 27, or close enough to it, which for trans people is, like, mind-blowing. Um, but he has been a YouTuber for a while now. He does commentary videos. He does, like, he has a podcast, too. Really love his podcast. Now, it's hard for me to sit down and, like, focus on one thing for a whole-ass hour. You know, that's why I don't get mad at people if they don't watch all the way through my videos in one sitting. Watch it part of the way through. If you get confused, or if you get bored, pause it, go do something else, come back, come back, do it. Throw this on in the background while you're doing other shit. You don't need to uh, have your full undivided attention on me. Hey, I'm calling. Oh, this is from four hours hey, what's ago. Up? Welcome back to my channel. I have something really exciting for you today, and I'm so excited what about it. Man? So, I have this email. It's called samlooklol at gmail.com. And what that email is, is a bunch of you guys just submit stuff to that email. Okay. I guess I could have done his a little bit uh, better, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, his video, I would have to, like, skip ahead into it to see some of his jokes, but he's got a drier sense of humor, just like me, you know, trans man, yet another commentary channel. What I watch on YouTube, for the most part, yeah. Uh, he's definitely a great guy, with great content, and yet another dry sense of humor. That's what I wrote in my notes, I'm sorry. Uh, I really love his content, though. I've watched it for, like, at least, like, fucking three years now, I think. Okay. Now, we move on to Noah motherfucking Fence. That's not actually his middle name. His middle name is not motherfucking Fence. It's actually Noah, and then his middle name is Finn, I believe. Or something like that. 
Uh, he makes a lot of music and commentary shit, and oh my god, his fucking music slaps. Oh my god, that shit hits me into next fucking year, you know? Like, that shit's so good, and I don't even normally like YouTubers shit because they usually end up, like, half-assing it. But his fucking music is so good. I'm gonna play a snippet, and if this video gets copyrighted for this, I don't even fucking care. It's totally worth it. This song is living rent free in my head right now. I'm fine. If you figure out your shit, then don't forget mine. Tell me that you're okay, and I'm fine. Yeah. That's all you get. That's all you get out of that. You're gonna go have to look up his channel yourself, man. And he's a two for one. He's a trans man, and he's gay, I believe. He might be bisexual. It depends. I'm not entirely sure on that. I think he recently came out as bi, but he's more into men. His boyfriend, Corey, is also bi. You should go check out his channel, too. That's a two-for-one right there. And, uh, yeah. So, Noah. That was him. And I mean his fucking music. Oh, God. Okay. Now, Miles Chronicle. I used to watch Miles back when he was a she. Back when he was, uh, I would, I don't want to say his dead name, but I mean, it's kind of well-known knowledge, but I'm not going to say it anyway out of respect. Uh, and he holds a very special place in my heart. Because I've kind of watched him go from who he was before to himself, to who he actually was meant to be the whole time. And honestly, you can see the change in him, and it's really interesting to see, you know, how living his life has made him happier as a person. Uh, and, uh, his, uh, his, uh, story to discovering himself is really really similar to my story about coming out and it actually all happened around the same time as like when I realized that I'm not a cis person is at the same time that Miles came out as trans after all of that time of being uh, just a lesbian and I was like oh it's not just me I'm not alone oh my god ah holy shit this is normal it's okay um, and I've just been in love with his channel since I was literally a freshman in high school, which at this point was like... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, six years ago, I think? Like, six years ago? Which is like, half of my life has been dedicated to like, this man's videos. And I really... The funny thing about it is, is I got into his channel because a crush that I had on a girl back in freshman year and she really liked his videos back when she was a I mean when he was a she and I got into it and I was like god oh, fucking obsessed uh and then last but not least my wholesome sweet bean that I love even though he's definitely a good deal, deal older than me or whatever JB Dodgers it might be you know love his stuff. Oh, I didn't even play a Miles video. I don't know why I didn't do that. Oh my god. I've got to play a Miles video. I'm actually not in transition. I am happy. Does this how Tyler Oakley feels? <laughs> oh no. It's Miles McKenna. He's making a YouTube video. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to throw up. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Miles. No, I've said that. So so that was Miles. And uh, I really loved his channel. Uh, now on to my boy. My boy. My beautiful boy. Uh, I hope he never watches this video and sees this weird display right here that's going. I hope none of them watch this video at some point and see me like absolutely fan personing it up here, you know? Um, but Jamie, oh, his channel is just, 
it's filled with content that just like a lot of it makes me happy in a way that I can't explain. He does a lot of Reddit readings. He does a lot about uh, a lot of commentary videos too. He does a lot of really gay shit, you know. And uh, I really like his stuff. I've been a fan of his for a while now too. Since I actually uh, started coming to terms with myself, so once again, same timeline about uh, when I was in uh, my early high school years is when I really started to realize who I was because I found that out in the eighth grade for sure. Because I had a trans friend who was just like, hey, this is how I feel, and I'm like a guy, and I'm like, oh my god, wait a second, that's exactly how I felt this entire time. So, uh, that's that. Um, and, uh, he's just got a lot of a mix between wholesome content and then straight people being fucky content. But, here's... J.K. Rowling, a woman's head on a man's body. Bonus for the cool gents of P.E. every stump. Hey, Spud, how's it going? It's Jamie. Welcome back to another video, your first video on the channel. I don't know, but welcome either way. I'm very glad to have you here, and today we're lucky. And you're just going to go ahead to check out his stuff, too. And then, of course, Shaba. And the two of them have a really beautiful love story, and you should look into that. Um... I'll play a little bit of Shaba's newest video. You know I like many things. Being LGBT plus, cats, food. That's Shaba and she's bisexual. Now Jamie is trans and bisexual and then Shaba's bisexual. So this will be the end of my list. Y'all have listened to me rant about queer shit for... How did I make this a 30 minute video? What? 30 minutes of fangirling, guying, personing together. Girl, guy, personing together. That's what we're doing, that's what this video was. Over queer shit. Cool? So yeah, bye guys.